All right, all right, all right, everybody. All right, I'm back. Habari za Sabui, Habari za Mchana, Habari za Gioni, brothers and sisters all over the world. The name of this channel is The African Times, and I'm Thomas. Hello, everybody. I'm talking to each and every one of you all over the world, and I'm back. I'm back to do, like, what's really, like, sorry about the shake in there. <laughs> Had to get my hand together. Um... I'm back because I want to go ahead and uh, give you some of the information that I told you I would give you uh, about uh, the exchange between uh, me and what I believe is one of these, these YouTube people, these YouTube celebrities, um, fake celebrities, people who, you know, they profess to be uh, for the people and helping the people and doing things for the people, but uh, if you trace it closely, you'll see, you know, uh, that maybe that, that, that that's really not their true intention, and maybe it's not their core foundation, that their core foundation is really uh, black capitalism, where they are uh, really uh, just profiting for themselves and for, you know, their family, and, and as long as that's achieved, then it, no real care, concern, or regard for uh, the black African population as a whole across the globe. So uh, I'm gonna give you the exchange in, uh, of information that, that occurred. Some of the things are gonna, I'm gonna give you the text, the text, uh, but there one area, a couple of areas I should say, where I'm making sure that the name of the person who uh, directed me to this individual, that that name is uh, blocked out. So there may be uh, just one or two lines where it seems like it may not be flowing. That's because where it says uh, such and such gave me your number and told me to call you, the such and such, that person, I'm trying to get rid of that. Because that person, I don't, that person didn't mean any harm. That person is just a, a person trying to help, like we all should be doing with each other. Uh, so that is where you're going to see some inconsistency. And then I figured out how to, uh, uh, I figured out how to capture the recording that I sent the person through the text. So I'm going to play all of that for you so that you can see and you can judge for yourself. Um, but again, my intention, I want everybody to know and understand. This is no game for me. This is no joke. I'm not playing. I'm not here to, for self-enrichment. No, I've invested heavily in, in, in a way to help people. Let me give you an example. Many of you know I told you I bought 25 Bajajis. Those little vehicles, the things you see me in. I bought 25 of those. Now, the Bajajis, they cost $7 million. 7 million point two, okay. Uh, you know, it's $430 for every million, so 2,800, somewhere maybe around $3,000 each one. Now, I didn't, I didn't buy new ones. I bought used ones, and then I, 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 I rebuilt them, I remanufactured them, okay. So, but imagine now, 25 used ones. I could have bought the new ones, you know, it's not just me, me and Jackie, Jackie's journey to Africa together. Could have bought new ones, then I would have only been able to buy maybe three or four. And that would have been enough to really have a good life for me here um, with, with, for me and my family, my immediate family. But I chose to go the other way because there were the goal was to come here and 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 in as many ways as possible for the rest of my life help the people help the people help the people uh and so 25 bajajis is 25 families now there's an opportunity to, to, to gain some additional revenue, revenue from having that many. But as I told you guys, we were in phase one, getting organized, getting the business started on, and phase two was to begin to develop housing. So the people who want to live, the people here, 
as well as people abroad who may want to come and we figure out how to do it, how to make it happen, whatever the steps are, you figure it out as you go along. But be able to provide housing, not for the wealthy people. And I don't have anything against wealthy people. Don't mm -mm. Go out and do what you have to do. And if you find success in it, that's good. That's good for you. My focus is just different. Because I care. I love black African people. There's nothing wrong with that. And I love them, so I was trying to help them by providing the families with jobs, taking the money, circulating the money among ourselves, letting our money circulate within our own economic activity, meaning we take the profit from the Bajajis and then we build some community housing for people. Now, I have to live and survive. I have to do that. So, yes, yeah, some of that money is going to help me live and survive so that I can do the work that I'm trying to do. And that's what I ask you guys to help me with, with the subscribers. Yeah, I need money, too. If you can send it, fantastic. I appreciate it. I'm asking you. I, I do. I, it'd be very, very helpful to me. I'm, I'm one person, and I don't have unlimited resources. But if you cannot do that, I understand that because you're living in the same economic system that I'm living in, which is designed to push wealth to the top in the hands of a few while keeping the vast majority of us in survival mode so that it's very difficult for us to uh, have time to think and focus on what we need to do to change this situation, okay? Now, I'm saying all that to say to you that that's my focus. That's why we have 25. Then you, you circulate the money. In other words, the Bajaji drivers go out, drive people, bring the money back. We take the money. We don't self-enrich ourselves. We take the money, and then we go hire other people. Builders. Fundies. They call them fundies here, but builders, you know, to build the good living, the, the affordable living for the people. And then people come from the States. They can come and get, you know, stand in a hotel. You don't have to stay in a hotel. Maybe you come and stay with us for a little while. And this is... This is in our, in our business compound. Not, we're not trying to do anything outside of um, whatever the government regulations are. We want to abide by everything, all government regulations, with all the people, with everything here in the good, lovable, wonderful country of Tanzania. But any opportunity that we have for me to help other people, then that's what I'm living for. I don't have any other purpose to be alive other than, to, as I told you, provide for the security and safety of, of our people. Period. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm about. Nothing else. No 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 mystery or anything like that. No 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 spooky anything. Just, just that. That's what it's about. So there are other people who came here and who come in and out. And they have a little different uh different agenda now. Don't confuse what I'm saying. We all have to survive. I'm in survival mode. Things are, the business is not where it needs to be. It takes years to sometimes develop a business. And we're struggling with that for cultural issues and things like that. It's just a challenge. We will overcome it. You remember I told you, United, UA, United Africans, Global Solution Company. The United Africans is the global solution. That's why the name is United Africans. Global Solution Company. United, we have to come together. There's no other way. You can figure it out, freak it out, do whatever you want to do, twist it, turn it. You're going to come back to the same thing. There's no other way. All groups on the planet, that's what they do in this system. Okay? So, again, we bought the Bajajis in such a way that they can generate money. And I, I know I'm being redundant, but I want to make it clear. We bought the Bajaji so that we could have many, so we could help many families bring the money back. Then we circulate the money among ourselves. You now hire the fundies to build. Now, when the fundies are there building, it takes several months to do some of the things that we want to do. Now, remember, the, the, the driver's going out. You're helping their families. They're bringing money back. Now, when you do that and they're driving, they're uh, helping the repair shops. They're taking that money, giving it to the repair shops. That's helping that repair shop family. Then the repair shop family, they go out, they got to buy groceries and food and clothes and all of those things so that they can feed their children and house their children and pay for their children's education if they go to a school that they have to pay for. You see, circulating the money among our people. That's economic activity. That's what I keep telling you that it's all about. Now, the builders, when they go wherever they're building, they're going to stop, take a break, 
go someplace, eat at a restaurant that's helping that restaurant owner's family. And if they decide to stay there, they're going to stay in a hotel or someplace that's a temporary building or whatever they're doing. If they're going to stay on, on, on the site, they need a blanket. They got to go to a fundi or a place where they sell blankets. Do you understand what I'm getting at? It's circulating the money to help each other. While profit is not the main goal, the goal is to circulate our money and our income and create economic activity that provides the resources necessary for families to survive. Okay, so for me, it's real. I'm not out here playing. I don't have time to be joking around and messing around. We have children in their, in their future. There are people here who don't go to school simply because, uh, you know, maybe they don't have the, the school development in their area yet, so they have to go someplace close where it's in town. We can do all of that. We don't need other people. We have the economic activity right in front of us. We can do it. But what is your mindset? What is your goal? So I'm not changing from that. I'm not compromising that. I'm not, I'm not going to all of a sudden now, okay, I got some money, now I can do No, I'm not doing that. And I'm asking for your help. Quite frankly, I'm asking for your help. I told you there's a donation. Uh, let me donate the cash. And you see what I'm doing. I'm showing it to you. This is not a, a scam and all that. No, I'm living this life. And, if I, and let me tell you so you guys understand. If I'm not successful, I'm going to be here in another country with my family in danger. That's how serious it is. So I'm not playing. And I'm not just trying to, oh, I like to charge people to come. No, we're trying to help people. When they come, they're running the same way we are. They're trying to get from one place that they felt like was not a good place to live and come to another that they're hoping is a better place to live. Okay? And part of the challenge is the development of a country. We have the resources to do it. If we don't do it, trust me, the other people who understand the, 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 uh, the opportunity and potential of, of investing in a developing country, they understand that opportunity is present. They're going to bring their money and their resources, and they're going to do it, and then they're going to control the business class. And when they control the business class and the means of production, they're going to come to you and tell you, we'll employ you, but we're going to pay you this amount, and they're going to be slave wages. So we have to pony up men and women and make a decision about how we're going to conduct ourselves when we relate when we relate to one another economically. So that's what I'm doing. Now, that's just me. I'm not against anybody else who, you know, they have a different agenda. That's fine. Just don't hurt the African people. The black African people all over the world don't do that. Don't stand in the way of that. You see. So I'm going to let you see the text message that and the text exchange that took place so you can see it for yourself. And then I'm going to include the recording so you can hear the recording that I sent to this individual. And then you'll see their response after receiving the recording. Now, I just did a video just lastly before I get to that other stuff. I just did a video where I explained to you that uh, you know, I had a visit at, at, at the police station. So I had to explain to you that I can't just come and start talking about things openly, names, people, and specifics and details with sensitive information. And any of you who are reasonable would understand that. Reasonable. So I'm going to always try to do the good thing. It's just who I am. And uh, Something about doing these videos. I've been doing these videos close to seven months, eight months now. Um, it's real. It's not a television program. You're getting a glimpse into uh, our lives. And as I told you before, uh, we're sharing that information in hopes that to help our people and the future of our people and individuals trying to escape that harsh and brutal capitalist system imposed upon us by those people who don't look like us. I keep, and just so you know, before I, before I get to the other stuff, I know I'm going to prove to you. I keep telling you. I just haven't. I'm going to prove to you how ridiculous it is to think that we're some separate people. I'm going to prove it to you. Um, I've given you hints and glimpses of that. You know, I told you, you take a lion. You take a lion over there someplace and you remove the line from Africa, take it over there to Asia, take it over there to the North, South America, wherever, Russia, wherever. It's now not a lion. Is that what you're telling me? Take a black African person, you move them over to Asia, to China, 
they grow up there, they get married, they have some kids with another black African person. So their children grow up and have children. They still live in China. Now they're going to tell, tell the people they're Chinese. Is that really what you're telling me? The foolishness. So I have a way to prove it to you. I just there's some copyright issues that I'm trying to work out. Uh, once I get that worked out, I'm going to show you. OK, so. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. And again, hit that subscription button. That's the survival button. And tell people about the channel. We, the viewership is what helps us. Uh, at this point, I guess, helps us uh, generate revenue through watching the ads and things like that. That's my understanding. Uh, and, and again, we don't have to be wealthy. We don't. I don't. We just need to be able to uh, operate in such a way that we're not constantly in survival mode so that we can focus on the things that we need to do to help the people. So I hope you guys all understand what I'm saying, where I'm coming from. All right, I'm going to uh, now start putting in these, uh, these, these clips of the text messages. So uh, it's gonna be a little quiet there. I don't have any background music for you, I don't think. Uh, but so just read through those, they'll be uh, following this section. I may or may not come back after that because I have some things to do but I wanted to get this out. So I've already saved the clips. I'm gonna put them on after this. And then uh, I'm gonna to try to do it in the order of the text messages. So I'll put the text messages out up until the point at which I sent the video, I mean the recording, the audio recording. Then I'll play the audio recording. Then I'll go back to the remaining text and then that'll be it, okay? All right, love you all, love you all. Ooh, we'll wait for the text, all right. Hey, 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 brother. Um, uh, this just, uh, I'm going to talk kind of generally so that, uh, you know, because it's a recording, you know, you have to be aware of that. But the situation generally is uh, there are people who, when you have relationships with them, business or otherwise, personal or what have you, uh, when the relationship comes to an end, as sometimes relationships do for a variety of reasons, uh, both personal and business, uh, whether they're uh, sometimes perhaps a discovery of unethical behavior, uh, business-wise or personal, uh, then uh, when the parties have to part, sometimes the parties uh, one uh, will go to the authorities and uh, tell falsehoods about the other. And zealous authority uh, people uh, use that as an opportunity to uh, kind of put pressure on the other party to, you know, kind of. Uh, pay money to make the problem go away. So this is generally uh, something that uh, is occurring. And, and from, from my understanding, it's not something that's just an isolated incident. It's something that takes place generally throughout uh, the area. So that's, that's about the gist of it. I can go into a little bit more detail if, if this wasn't a recording and, and uh, we can talk a little bit more. But I'll keep this short because I don't know how long it's, it's going to take. Uh, how large of a file it is, brother. So, uh, 